Hey there guys, thanks for watching my YouTube channel. If you enjoy my content, I'd appreciate you hitting that red subscribe button down below, and you'll get notifications on whenever I upload a new video. So I'm going to try something a little bit different here. I'm going to you know, just talk about what's going on in this video prior, and then I'll allow you to enjoy the rest of the video and enjoy the roar of this Detroit engine in this truck, which sounds amazing. So. A little bit of backstory, where are we right now? We are on one of the most difficult streets that I plow. And what makes this street so difficult is you'll see when I turn the truck around, but that'll be in a couple minutes. Uh, we are at the top of the hill right now. And when we turn around, we're gonna go down a hill and it's probably gonna go down maybe three, 400 yards. And then right at the base of the hill, it turns to the right. It's a hard 90 degree right turn. And commonly when I plow this hill, I'll have cars parked at the bottom, and if it's an ice storm, it's always very sketchy. Uh, oftentimes when we have an ice storm, I will back up and salt going up the hill, so that way I always have some traction under my tires. Now, with this specific snowstorm, it's kind of hard to tell, but there's about 22 inches of snow on the ground. And I have not been able to get enough traction to get to the top of the hill. Uh, so I ended up having to go back to the yard, get a full load of salt, and I was able to make it up to the top of the hill, but I wasn't able to plow up the hill. I just drove right up the hill, I made it to the top. Uh, so what I'm doing right now is just clearing out this cul-de-sac at the top of the hill. Uh, normally, the, the policy is to kind of do a circle around the cul-de-sac and kind of leave a pile in the middle as opposed to pushing it in on uh, people's front lawns. But the cul-de-sac up here was too tight for me to do that, and I figured the best option would be for me to just simply clear out the cul-de-sac at the top of this hill completely. So, yeah, you'll just see me pushing this back, pushing it back, and uh, you'll also see me help out the neighbor with the uh, the black minivan at the top of the right of the hill there. I think that's a minivan. I can't really tell from the video right now. So, yeah, this, this is quite a challenging hill. So... What I'm going to do after this is I'm going to turn around, I'm going to go, I'm, I'm going to plow down the hill, turn around, come back up, and then I'm going to repeat the process because 22 inches of snow, it's a lot of snow, and pretty much my first pass with the plow, it wasn't scraping down as far as it could have, uh, so the second time was really just a cleanup pass, and that's about all I have to say about this challenging hill, and uh, enjoy the rest of the video, thanks for watching.
as if this storm wasn't challenging enough, we also had a lot of tree limbs came down. Uh, we had a lot of low hanging cable wires. If you look closely, right about now, you'll notice that my front wing post comes within inches of pulling a cable line out, which that cable line was already brought down by a tree limb or something that hit it and brought it down lower, but that's just one of the hazards we face out here. Now, thankfully, cable lines, there's a very low amount of current going through them, so, uh, you know, we don't really worry about hitting them too much, but of course we do everything we can to try and avoid them. However, if that was a power line, that would be a completely different story, and I would not even have attempted the hill.